In this video, we are going to learn how to trap a mole. The first thing you need is, well, a mole and a mole run. Mole runs are a little hard to see on camera. There's one that comes across here. They're easier to find with a soft sole shoe walking through your lawn. Find a straight section of the mole run and then of course you need a trap. I prefer the Nash choker loop trap. It exterminates the mole very quickly and it is safe to have in your yard with children and pets because it has no sharp spears or plungers as some other mole traps have. It also has the advantage that you know for sure when you've trapped a mole. To open up the ground and insert the, the uh, mole trap, I found the best tool to be half of a hedge clippers. If you don't have half of a hedge clippers, a garden trowel or some other type of instrument would work well also. So when you find the mole run, you can kind of probe and find the, the empty spot underneath and cut a slot there and then place the trap there and cut a slot at the other side, the other loop of the trap. And then I like to pull the sod out of the middle to make sure the trap goes down into the dirt far enough. So remove that sod. Then I like to throw some debris in here so it's not obvious to the mole when he encounters this trigger paddle. Pull the trigger locking mechanism out away from the trap, then using both hands, compress the trap. Make sure you don't put your hands here on the sides. If you were to lose your grip on the trap, this would close on your hands and it would really hurt. Then just push the trap down into the mole run, making sure the loops are centered over the run. You might have to scrape some dirt away from underneath this trigger paddle. I just push it over to the side with my hands. I do not like moles on my land. I want to trap them if I can. Push the paddle down into the run. Make sure the paddle goes down past where it needs to go for the trigger mechanism to lock it. So there's a little bit of space underneath the paddle. This ensures that the mole has to actually push up on the paddle to trigger it. Otherwise, you may find that you have a trap that has been tripped, but there's no mole in it because it triggered before the mole actually got underneath the trap. Then set your locking mechanism in the notch of the paddle, again making sure there's a little bit of free play in that paddle. And there you, the trap is set. I like to push down the mole run on either side of the trap so the mole has to dig to get into the trap. I think this hides the loops of the trap better so the mole doesn't realize he's heading into the trap. Sam Hughes is Bauer. I had to exterminate the mole. I didn't have a choice. <sighs> I also like to mark the trap with my hedge clipper so no one stumbles over it or hits it with a lawnmower. And that's all there is to it. The trap is now set and ready to go. My cousin Spud was injured by a mole when he came tunneling through the potato patch. See, our trap is tripped. And check this out. See if we got anything. And looky there. A nice big mole. This is an eastern mole. The eastern mole is the most common mole found in North America. It is found all over the eastern half of the United States and up into Canada and down into parts of Mexico. The most notable feature of the mole is its front paws. They seem unusually large compared to the rest of its body. Their vertical orientation and their outward facing palm look odd, but these large, strong front paws make the mole an exceptionally efficient digger. Moles can dig a 20-foot long tunnel through your lawn in just one hour. I hate moles. Another thing we'll notice about the mole is that while its front and back paws are dirty, the mole fur appears to be completely clean. The hair of, of a mole is unlike the hair of any other mammal. And this protective feature of, the, of the, these hairs uh, help contribute to keeping the coat free of dirt and water. Another thing we notice is that the mole does not appear to have any eyes. Moles actually do have eyes, but they are very tiny and they allow the mole only to sense light. They are not very useful to the mole as he spends all of his, his life in the dark underground. 
Moles tend to prefer living in prized lawns and golf courses and carefully tended gardens because they are such a good source of its main food supply, worms. So you should actually consider it a compliment when a mole invades your lawn or your garden. Goodbye! Thanks for watching! Hope your day is better than mine!